Okay. Welcome to CED 611, Group Counseling. My name is Professor Javier Valdez, and I will be your professor for this course. So welcome. So for tonight, what we're going to go ahead and do is go over the agenda. I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself and welcome you to the class. So um, again, my name is Javier Valdez. I'll be your professor for this month for group counseling. Um, my background stems from K through 12 counseling, and that's where I started my first uh, counseling career. I have then transitioned over to community college, and so I currently work for Irvine Valley College, and I've been there for now three years. So that's a little bit about myself. So I've been at the at the high school, I've been at the middle school. And now I am a community college counselor for Irvine Valley College. And so I have a little experience in um, those levels there. Um, and so that's a little bit about who I am and a little introduction. Um, we're going to go over the course syllabus and then we're going to, you know, have uh, questions. If you have any questions, you could go ahead and email me or call me. I prefer email, but... Um, if you don't get a response from me, you could call me and that will be in the email that is has been sent out um, to you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The course syllabus. So we're going to go ahead and go over the course syllabus. And as you can tell here, this is a course syllabus. Uh, this is my cell phone number. Again, uh, my preferred method of communication is through email. Um, I will usually answer within 24 hours to 48 hours. Um, but if you need an emergency um, assistance or you need a question answered and I haven't replied to you, um, feel free to send me a text message. But uh, save that for the last resort. I usually get back to students via email. So that's my info there. Uh, that's just the mission of the school, the framework, and uh, this is a required text, so it's school-based group counseling by Christopher A. Sink and Edwards and Epler. So go ahead and make sure you get this book as you will be needing it uh, for your assignments that I'm going to go ahead and explain. And the rest is just the course catalog description. You guys can go ahead and read that. And also the institutional learning objectives and the program learning objectives. So you guys could go ahead and I'll read that. So going on to what, or moving on to what you want to know, which are the course assignments. And I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible for you to understand. So the course requirements and methods of evaluation. Here, um, there will be no required live chats as these will be pre-recorded every week. So you could view them as you may and when you want to. So there will not be any points assigned to the um, recordings. So um, that is kind of neat for students that can't make our live chats. Uh, this class won't have any, but we will have uh, pre-recorded sessions um, each week that I will upload um, the pre-recordings to YouTube and send an email with the link for you all to view on a weekly basis. So your main assignment here for um, the class will be the group counseling videos assignment. Here you will create and uh, establish a, smooth, a small group counseling session. Candidates will select four to five individuals, friends, family members to participate in their group sessions. All participants must complete the consent form for involvement and sign forms have to be uploaded as evidence that your family members, friends, brother, sister, cousin, whoever that may be, um, consent to being recorded. The task here will be to select an emotional concern, a social concern, for example, test anxiety, communication with teachers, problem solving, divorce, separation, you name it eating disorders, whatever you want, select a topic and create three lesson plans. 
that will help your group members get through that topic. Um, obviously, you want your group members to role play, so you want to prep them with what topic you will be addressing. And the goal here is to create three videos, 10 to 15 minutes each, and submit those videos to YouTube and then provide the link to me via the um, Blackboard uh, course shell. So what you'll be doing is recording three sessions. So each week you'll record session one, then you'll record session two, then you'll record session three. So you start recording week two. So by the end of week two, you should have your first session recorded. And then by the end of week three, you should have your second session recorded. And by week four, you should have your third session recorded. And so these videos shouldn't be longer than 10 to 15 minutes. Again, the easiest way to upload these videos is through YouTube and then copying that link and submitting that link to the assignment link in our course. So that way I could view and access the video. Make sure you make the videos public as some videos um, have the option to be private or public. If you set the settings to private, I will not be able to view it. So make sure your video is public. Candidates will conduct three videos, as I mentioned, 10 to 15 minutes each. And so with that video, you will upload a lesson plan. And there is a template that I have provided each week that you can just copy and paste onto a Word document or Google Docs fill out the, the lesson template and upload that template to the link provided in the week by week um, assignment links that are on Blackboard. So the template needs to be submitted along with your video. Okay. So that is the big assignment or project for this class. So I recommend that you begin to talk to friends or family members that could assist you in creating three videos where they will role play being participants, dealing with either text, test anxiety, eating disorders, uh, problem solving, divorce, separation, wherever that may be, okay? So um, make sure that you are uh, finding those individuals as soon as possible because you will be required to submit your first video for a week. Uh, I think during week two, yes, during week two, you'll submit your first video. So you want to have that established. Now, the course will have weekly quizzes to uh, make sure that you're keeping up with the readings and these will be based on the readings and the lectures. The weekly quizzes are worth five points each and there will be three uh, weekly quizzes. So that will be a total of 15 points there. There are also going to be weekly essay quizzes, quizzes where the points will vary depending on how well you answer the essays. Um, and so I failed to mention, mention, but the weekly quizzes will be multiple choice and the essay quizzes will be essay format. So you will be responding to question, questions that are um, based on lecture and the readings. So points here vary and, but the total amount of points for the weekly quizzes or essay quizzes will be 23 points. Um, you're going to have weekly chapter reflections. Okay. And these should be one page. Um, two paragraphs is fine. Uh, I don't want more than a page. I don't want you to do two pages. So you will have weekly chapter reflections. So make sure that you're doing your reading and reflecting on what you're reading. And these will be worth a point each. And then um, there will be a video viewing activity of a group counseling session that will be progressive. So you will start this week one and then see another video week two, and another video for week three. And here you wanna listen and view the group counseling sessions and provide, uh, provide it in the week by week course content and provide a reflection. Again, the reflection, no more than a paragraph or two paragraphs. I don't wanna make it tough for you guys. Just write a reflection. There's no right or wrong here. There's a course overview summary. This will be due week four. Um, and the summary is a summary of your learning and in the class and what you learn and what you got out of the class. And this would be a maximum of two pages, no more than that. 
And then um, your signature assignment, which is your um, reflection. Here you want to summarize a technique you found useful during your sessions. So what technique did you find useful during your three sessions that you recorded? I want you to summarize the technique, uh, let me know what worked, and reflect on it. Uh, what did you like about it? How did you um, feel about it when you were doing your um, sessions? How did your participants respond to it? And again, all the rubrics for these assignments are on the course shell. So um, you could always refer to the rubric for, um, for information on what to write about. And so the last essay that you will write will be your practicum essay. You know, these are essays that are part of each of your courses. And these shouldn't be a um, uh, uh, news to you. These have been part of your um, courses for quite some time. So this will be a reflection of your fieldwork observations, and this will be a maximum of two uh, pages, no more than two. And so last but not least, we have also your weekly discussion boards. And discussion boards will only be done for weeks one to three, no discussion boards for week four. So discussion boards, at least a paragraph in length, and you need to respond to at least one classmate, okay? So the whole class is worth 100 points. Uh, weekly quizzes are 15 points total. The weekly essay quizzes are 23 points total. The weekly chapter reflections are six points total. The weekly counseling group video reflections are three points. And the big um, chunk here will be your group videos, your group counseling videos that you will conduct. These will be a total of 27 points. So make sure you're, you're doing a good job with those. And then we, you know, we have the course overview summary. That will be the overview of the uh, course and what you learned. That's five points. Your reflection of a counseling technique um, essay, that will be 10 points. And then your practicum essay, five points and discussion boards, six points for a total of 100 points. So I won't lie to you, this class does have a lot of busy work. Um, so please plan ahead. I wouldn't recommend that you save everything to do on Friday or Saturday because you will find yourself being overwhelmed. So pace yourselves. Um, it's not, it's not uh, challenging work. It's not work that you can't do in a week, but it is busy work. So make sure you're, make, make sure you're um, giving yourself time for, for finishing these assignments. Okay. And then, so that is, is it for the assignments. And if we go down, the writing rubrics for your essays are here. So you could take a look at the writing rubric for the essays. And then we have the group counseling uh, rubric for your videos. Okay, so take a look at those as well. And make sure that, you know, you read the rubric before you start your video. Okay? So that is it. Oh, and then this is the rubric for your signature assignment. That This is the... Um, the reflection on one technique um, that you found useful as you were progressing through your session. So uh, go ahead and look at that rubric there. Okay, so that is the course in a nutshell. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through week one just so that way you know what to expect and you um, know what to see and what to do for week one. So this is week one. You want to look at the learning outcomes, read those learning outcomes. And I always like to do that before I um, uh, start a class because I kind of can foresee what to expect in my assignments. And so the readings are here. So for week one, you will be responsible for chapters one, two, three, and 10. And so um, make sure you're reading those chapters there. And then these are the lectures. So these are the lectures in the uh, chapter overview. So they give it gives you a breakdown of the chapter and um, breaks it down into an outline so you could go ahead and kind of guide yourself for the chapters that you're reading. Okay. So go ahead and use this as a reference. And then the lectures are also here in PowerPoint format. So there'll be lecture A and lecture B. And this is for chapters three and then chapter 10 here, that's right here, okay? So this is just providing an outline to um, complement your readings as you're going through 
uh, the readings and your outline and your, your uh, lecture PowerPoints. And then week one, supplemental resources. Again, you, these are just resources. You don't have to do anything with those, but they're there for your um, convenience if you want to go into and look at other articles that have been written in regards to the content for week one. Um, now your learning activity. This is where I was telling you where you will have to view a video and then once you view the video, you will then correspond to the video by clicking on the group counseling video reflection link. And you will click on the link and then you will have um, um, a couple questions to answer via the link. So that is what I mean by the group counseling reflection um, videos that you will be watching. And these will be the discussion boards, so you want to also do those. And then these are the reflections, okay, from the chapters. So if you look at week one assignment reflection A, it says summarize your initial learnings from chapters one and two in your electronic journal. This electronic journal doesn't, it's, don't get nervous about it. It's just put it on a Word document and upload it to the link that's here. Okay, don't get spooked over electronic journal. Um, okay, so um, here uh, again, two paragraphs is fine. No more than a page. I don't want to. I want to. I don't want to have a three-page reflection on on your chapter summary. So, uh, two paragraphs is fine. Um, if you want to write more, that's fine, but don't make it more than a page. Um, again, here it is, reflection for your summaries. Uh, your learning from chapters three and ten, and upload your reflection here. Okay, and now. These are the quizzes for the week. Um, there will be quiz, essay quiz A and essay quiz B, quiz B, sorry. And so these will be quizzes based on um, questions that you will answer in essay format. Um, again, these shouldn't be too difficult. You click on the link and then they give you an hour. Well, we give you an hour to complete the, um, the essay quiz. And then, you know, you go ahead and submit that and I go ahead and then read that and grade that. So there will be two, go back here, there will be two essay quizzes for week one and then your quiz, your multiple choice quiz as well for week one. So it is busy work, but um, it's definitely doable and week one is the one that's I want to say the most uh, easiest as far as your course uh, work and load. So make sure that you are on top of your readings, your quizzes, and your reflections. Okay. So that is it. That's week one. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or call me if I don't respond to your email. Uh, sometimes emails do go into my spam, so if I don't respond within two days, then uh, there's probably something wrong. So um, you could go ahead and text me. And again, my email and my cell phone number are on the syllabus and also the email that I sent out with um, welcoming you all to the class. So thank you, and I hope to work with you well. and. Um, and, and hopefully this semester, this month goes smoothly for you all. Um, and again, you know where to reach me. Have yourselves a great night. Thank you.